Royal Feud, who put more effort in, Kate or Meghan? Revealed. Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton are in the spotlight for their royal feud that has even attracted a telling off from the Queen herself, and, it seems, the Duchess of Cambridge is making the most effort to repair the damaged relationship. All eyes were on Kate, 36, and Meghan, 37, as they stepped out for the annual Christmas Day church service in Sandringham. The pair appeared to set aside their differences for the festive season, however, body language expert Judy James revealed some telltale signs that it was all a show for the cameras. The duchesses and their husbands, Prince Harry, 34, and Prince William, 36, are rumored to have grown apart over the past few months. Both couples were pictured walking in a line, smiling, chatting and greeting the crowds at Sandringham on Christmas Day. But Judy said Kate's decision not to hold onto her husband's arm was a move to close a physical gap between herself and Meghan. Kate has also been developing a matriarchal position within the royal family mirroring her future elevated position if Prince William becomes king. Commenting on the couples, Judy, said, it was she who took the job of PR for the two couples here, opting to not hold her husband's hand as she had last year. Kate kept a pace away from him and closer to Meghan in order to breach any ideas of a physical and emotional gap. Last year, Kate walked holding her husband's hand and there was a more relaxed air about the four as they took part in the tradition. However, this time round Meghan clung to Harry's bicep throughout, while Kate stepped across to communicate with her sister-in-law, starting conversations in what appears to be a relaxed and warm manner. Judy added that. In a bid to cool rumors of unrest in the palace, the two women used eye contact and broad smiles to suggest happiness and at one point Kate even raised a hand to chad. Kate even performed the kind of dimpled and slightly suppressed smile that would suggest the two women were sharing a joke. With the rift dominating headlines, the fours lineup, and unusually close appearance, looked to be compensating for the turmoil at home. Judy warned that the bigger problem with the falling out could be between the two bothers, Prince Harry and Prince William. She added, the bigger problem could possibly be with the two royal brothers though. Walking along on the outside of the row with their hands stuffed into their pockets they both alternated between slightly rigid looking smiling and some less cheerful facial expressions. Judy continued, as they can both afford gloves the hand stuffing rituals did make both of them look rather ill at ease. We're so used to seeing these two brothers together looking bonded and slightly naughty, often using tie signs like catching one another's eye to communicate and laugh together silently but with their wives keen to perform solidly for the cameras there seemed to be a lack of these usual buoyant looking rituals from William and Harry. The last royal couple instructed to perform togetherness body language rituals was Prince Charles and Diana on their last royal tour before their separation, however. Their awkward appearance made it so obvious they were on the rocks that their formal parting was announced soon after. Meghan Markle and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge have been dogged by rumors of a rift but a simple gesture from the Duchess of Sussex as the pair returned from Christmas service appeared to shut down row claims. Meghan Markle and Kate have been at the center of intense scrutiny after several royal sources suggested the sisters-in-law do not have a rosy relationship. The duchesses however appeared to dash claims of a rift as they were seen smiling together as they walked back to Sandringham House after attending Christmas service at St. Mary Magdalene's Church with husbands Prince Harry and Prince William. Meghan appeared to shut down rumors as she gently placed her hand on Kate's back after they greeted fans hoping to catch a glimpse of the royal family in attendance. Footage shared on social media recorded the Duchess of Sussex waiting for Kate as she finished talking to admirers before passing the main gate leading back to Sandringham House. Meghan was seen putting her hand on Kate's back as she tilted her head towards her sister-in-law to chat as they joined Prince Harry and Prince William for the walk back home. But despite the amicable exchange, sources have suggested the affectionate gesture was in response to demands from the Queen and Prince Charles to put aside their differences during Christmas celebrations at Her Majesty's Norfolk Estate. According to a royal source, the Queen and Prince of Wales ordered the duchesses to make up for Christmas and stop their feud so the family could come together. The source told The Sun Online, the Queen and Charles have allowed the situation to play out without overtly interfering 
but they both made it clear that Christmas was for the whole family to really come together. That meant the two couples walking into church together as the Fab Four just like they had last year. Yes, it was awkward and uncomfortable given what's gone on over the past 12 months. But the alternative of even more negativity on Christmas Day wasn't worth thinking about. The origin of rumors about the royal feud is unclear but they coincided with the news that Harry and Meghan were planning to move house before the birth of their first child in the spring. The Sussexes are currently shacked up in Nottingham Cottage in the ground of Kensington Palace and have William and Kate as their neighbours. In November the royal couple announced they would relocate from central London to Frogmore House on the Windsor Estate to prepare for the arrival of the royal baby. Queen Elizabeth reportedly offered her help to Meghan to mend the break with Kate before the Christmas holidays but was allegedly rebuked from the former actress. A source told the Sunday Times, Her Majesty has seen it all and could offer the Duchess some helpful advice at the moment. Meghan would do well to nurture that relationship and pop over for the occasional cup of tea with the Queen. That is what Sophie Wessex has quietly done so well. The Queen stressed the importance of family and unity in her Christmas Day speech aired yesterday, which was recorded at the White Drawing Room in Buckingham Palace. The monarch said, Through the many changes I have seen over the years, faith, family and friendship have been not only a constant for me but a source of personal comfort and reassurance.